All right, we're back. Last time we adjusted our UV and we mirrored. Actually, we mirrored first. Uh, then we adjusted our UV. And today we are going to take our UV and make a very sloppy and quick version of a diffuse map so we can have a character that kind of looks okay uh, to start with. So we're going to go ahead and go to our Unwrap UV modifier. We're going to open the UV editor and go to File. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, no tools <laughs> render uvw template now we always render out at 2048 by 2048 the reason we do this is so that um, we are sort of future proofing our work all right render uv template it renders out nice and big yours may not yours may be super small and you can't see it if you zoom in you can see it um, save image i'm going to save this uh, da, 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 da. We'll call this char character uv underscore uv. Cool. And save file type. We will make sure it's a PNG so we can see through it. And then it's on the desktop for now. And then uh, that should be good. Okay, cool. And then make sure you save it as a 24 bit. Okay, cool. Goody, goody. We'll close that for now. Uh, we're going to be back in, into 3D Studio in just a second. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hit M so that you sort of see where we're going to start. I'm going to shrink this a little bit, and then I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to move Photoshop over. Cool. And then I'm going to get my character underscore UV and drop that into Photoshop. Now I'm using, using Photoshop CS6, and when you drop it in, you can't see anything. For now, we're going to create a new layer. It's called Layer 1. I'm going to call it Background. Or back yeah there you go ah if I could type that would be super all right I'm gonna drag it underneath layer zero which is actually our UV which we are going to label because labels are great I'm gonna select the background and I'm going to give it a color now currently I'm just gonna give it black and I'm gonna use a paint bucket to do so you may have the gradient tool if you need the paint bucket it's right there you just click and drag and now by selecting the background image I can now see my UV all right cool now I need to create a new layer and the more layers you create the more control you have later uh, so you might want to create a bunch of layers I'm gonna call this layer um, skin all right so we know that this file is going to have to go on our on our 3d model so the smart thing to do click there the smart thing to do for this is to drag it in there and then attach it to our model okay so I am going to I'll just make this a little bigger for now um, I'm going to save this Photoshop file file and when you save it as a Photoshop I'm just throwing it on my desktop for now uh, character UV dot PSD that's fine for, you know, let's call it DM dot PSD and then PSD is a Photoshop document PS Photoshop document click OK and now it's on the desktop right there. I'm going to drag it in. And then I'm going to make sure this is my model. I'm going to make it small-ish. I'm going to go ahead and shrink that. Oh, well, I'll double click this. This is my modeling material, which is fine. I'm going to apply it to my object, which gets rid of my checker map. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to undo that. Right click, I'm going to create um, material scan line standard. I'm going to take this and drag it into the diffuse color. And then double click on this, make sure you can see it at the viewport and apply. So currently, this is my model, all black. Cool. Now, um, I'm going to shrink this and sort of move it over here, <laughs> or I'll make it bigger. There we go. And I just want to sort of keep it not maximized, but I want to keep it in the corner so I can see what I'm what I'm doing. Because as I save this, if I change anything on here, um, that's that will automatically go to there. So pick a skin color. That's good. I like it. We're gonna to move to this here. Use your paintbrush. Um, you can maximize using the bracer. Um, and pick a face. Uh, pick your face and then color in your face and your neck 
and your arms. Now, as you know, or if you don't, it's super awesome. If you click somewhere and then hold shift, you can make a straight line. So I'm gonna make a straight line up to about there and there and there, and this is my arms. So then maximize this. We are doing this super quick. We are not doing a uh, really, really great job. We are doing a fast job today. All right, cool. So that's my skin, um, my hair color. Um, let's do some green hair. I think green is cool. Cool, green hair. Yeah. Now, um, this goes all the way around the hair. You can do your hair whatever color you want. You can make this look like you. Uh, you can make it look like somebody else. I don't care. Whatever you want. Now, let's go ahead and save that. I'm going to turn off the UV for a second. Hit save. Turn it back on. And then go in here and see where we're at. So we've got green hair. Now the problem is I have a seam here. So this brown, the skin is sort of cutting off here. If I turn off, um, turn off edge faces and we just click somewhere else, um, if I, there, that's better. We can see more clearly how things are kind of problematic, okay? The brown has a weird hard line there. We need to make sure that this matches. So this little hairline, this green part right here, is roughly that far off, so I'm guessing that far. So we need to make sure this line lines up with that line, okay? We save it again, turn the UV off, save, turn it on, click over here, and see how that looks. It's pretty close, and that's gonna be good enough. All right, cool. Now, um, we're going to wear a black shirt today because the background is black, and that's fun and easy. Uh, let's wear some blue jeans-ish, whatever. Uh, this is all blue. We want to make sure that we keep a border of decent size, and you'll notice I'm res resizing my, uh, holding shift, resizing my stuff. There we go. Once I get this sort of close, I can bucket it in. Bucket, boom. All right, cool. And this is generic, and you'll notice it's, like I said, sloppy. You can take a little more time if you want. Um, that's fine. If you want to put, like, laces, we'll put laces just because it's fun. But we are in a hurry. You don't need to be as, as hurried as I am. You can take your time if you want. This is my shoelaces. They are going to be white-ish. We'll put that there 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 good cool they're going to be underneath my jeans which will end up there and then if we want just for for like I don't know just so we understand how this works I am going to create a belt my belt is going to go from here to there and then just for you can also hold alt get the same color now I'm going to put belt loops around it so it looks okay once again, I'm not making really, you know, it's not soup. Oops, careful. I'm holding shift after I click it. And then I'll make a belt buckle. Mostly this is so that you understand how this works. Part of this is that you, um, good. It's so that you sort of understand how, how this looks, all right? And we'll call it, um, this is our hand. You could try and put little uh, hand sections. Grab that color and then make it a little darker. Uh, cool. Any Whatever the skin color is, you can make it a little darker. Um, the hand is actually really difficult to do well um, because if you think about it, this is the top of the hand, right? So we know that it's going to go to there and this is a finger. This is the fist part and then here and then we gotta sort of make a finger and then same thing here there there there
cool. And then this would go like that. Cool. Once you see, okay, let's turn off the UV and see how it looks. Save it. Turn the UV back on. And then look at it. See my fist. I know it might be tiny in the video, but you sort of see those are my fingers. Technically, I should have a thumb coming around here, but I'm not going to worry about that today. And you don't really need to either. That's close enough. Okay, cool. Um, be careful because you probably have an issue with your shirt seam like I do. Um, looks like this needs to come all the way over. So I'm going to select my skin color again and then hold, click there, hold shift and clean that up and then turn this off, save it, turn it back on, see how it looks. Come on, good, close. It looks like it needs to go back further. Let's see how that looks. Save it. Oops. Turn this off, save it, turn it back on. And yeah, it's close enough. Good. Yay. Yay for close enough. Okay. So this is what our current person looks like. Maybe they've got a little bit of receding hairline. Um, we could adjust that. And we also should probably put an eyeball on there, maybe a mouth just for fun so eyeball white like this white create it uh, sure and then put grab this and make it a little more red cool smaller and there we go uh, eye color sure and then <laughs> it's pretty, oh anyway <laughs> and give him a pupil good um, and now you can take this um, the skin color and maybe do a little a little shaping of the eye because no one actually eye is that round unless they're looking really really weird maybe not quite that drastic now they look mean Don't look mean or sad <laughs> Well, we'll see how that looks. Let's turn that off. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> Dang it, I just want it to reco. Ah, all right, good. Um, whatever, let's just, we, <laughs> now our person looks so weird. All right, whatever. Where are we at? Control S, save. And look at here. All right, cool. Um, skin, again. Uh... Can I undo? No. Uh, step backwards. Alt Control Z. There, there. See what happens when you try and rush? It gets weird. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to grab my skin color again, maybe do a little bit of a nose. A little bit of a nose, like that. Just do here to there there okay and then go back through and erase some of it there I'm not an artist uh, so, you know, whatever you, uh, your mileage may vary. Once again, we are trying to do this relatively quickly. So there that's nose ish. Um, I'm going to save it again and then see how it looks. It's weird, but okay. Um, I'm going to adjust the mouth just a little bit holding shift. Cool. All right, great. So, 
That's a really sloppy and quick version of our diffuse map. Your mileage may vary. I want you to sort of understand how the process works. Um, you can take a little more time or a little less time. It's totally up to you. Um, but you want to get this done relatively quickly. You don't want to spend too much time on it uh, because that's not the point. All right. Let's save that again and see how it looks. Good. Maybe a little more there save and then there cool all right great uh now we did all that we spent all that time making sure that the shirt has something on it that is not symmetrical so let's do something non-symmetrical um let's do like a lightning bolt because because why not um because it's not symmetrical so so if i do like whatever, like I said, you can do whatever you want on your shirt. There, lightning bolt. You are a wizard, Harry. There you go. See, and you get all this. So good. All right, great. And turn off the UV and save it. Now, with this, with that said. Um, Oh, that's way too high. Okay, so let's fix that. Um, quick, quick, quick fix. So on skin, I'm going to grab this section here. I'm going to right click layer via, via cut. Man, control T. I'm going to move it down there. We'll make sure the UV looks good. So hit enter. There, that looks good. That should be better. Turn off the UV, save. You can make whatever you want, but you want it to fit. There we go. That's way too big, but at least it's non symmetrical and we can sort of see how it looks. All right, great. So this is what I'm going to use. Actually, I'm going to use something maybe that has a little more time on it. Um, a little more, but not much more. Uh, but that's basically it. That's your UV. Now, once again, you want to make sure that when you're building this stuff, uh, you don't take a lot of time, okay? But understand that when you have something that's multiple pieces like this you want to make sure the uv is all the same whenever you're loading something in you want it all to load at the same time if you know that it's always going to need everything so if you're loading in this character with i don't know they always load in with flowers you might as well add the flowers to the uv if you know that they will always carry flowers because that's less stress on the computer because it's only going to make the call to the hard drive once Okay, and since this class is all about interactive applications, we want to make sure that it stays nice and low resource. So you've got this. Um, the next thing we would do and the final thing we do is file save for web. All right, cool. Now, 2048 is what the default size is, which is way, way, way too big. Um, we should probably do this at 512 because we are going to keep this low uh, resource heavy. Hit save. I'm going to save this on my desktop and I'm going to call it character DM. I just clicked on that so I didn't have to retype it. Character DM.png, hit save. All right, I'm going to, we've already saved this a bunch, but I'll save it again to make sure. Now I can close this and I want to make this a little bit bigger and then I'm going to hit M for material. And instead of having the UV, the Photoshop file, which is really, really big and huge. I'm going to delete that and drag in this, which is way, way smaller, and therefore will make our file smaller and make everything better. However, it's way low resolution, you know, which is okay for now. Okay, so now you have your character diffuse map and you have everything set up. You are good to go for the animation process, and we will see you next time. I hit some sort of weird thing. I don't know. It's going, it's being bizarre. I don't know what I did. Oh no. Anyway, I'll fix that and uh, I will see you next time when we will start learning about, we did all that skin. What is going on? This thing's going crazy. Um, the skinning that we talked about last time, um, we'll deal with that. Okay. All right. I will see you next time. <laughs>